this is a lot of detail. This is classic for microscopic floaters that are probably just sitting right on top of the retina because there's no way you'd see that kind of detail if it was further away. And then you have my 60-year-old patient who uh, drew this thing. I don't know what that is. You know, it's, it's a diffuse, cloudy something that he's aware of, but there's really no definition then in there. I mean, it's a black ink pen. He, he can't really shade as you could with a pencil here, but he's just trying to represent it's just diffusely affecting my vision, but not really with a shape. Uh, and these are the people who are like, I can't draw it. These people, these younger people, will draw it with great accuracy. Interestingly enough, well, in fact, no, I, um, when you know, I asked him to draw this thing and I come out and I, and I grab this immediately, without saying anything, immediately in my mind, I'm like, I'm going to spend about an hour and a half with this patient and ultimately render the opinion of I either see your floaters and they're too close to the retina or I see maybe just a small fraction of what you've described here and it's too close to the retina or they are so microscopically small and presumed next to your retina, I can't see them. You know? And in all three cases, I can't treat you. 